White House and House Democrats locked in a battle over border wall funding. Local residents, depending on government programs, worry about feeding their families if those programs run out of funding. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields is live in West El Paso with this report. It is day 16 of this partial government shutdown and people in the borderland are looking for answers on what they could expect when they come to offices like this food stamps one right here behind me and search for the supplemental benefits. Yeah, it worries because, um, you know, a lot of people are, you know, part of this and shutting down, it will be affecting a lot of people, you know, that they, they, they get the, the benefits and all. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, also known as food stamps, will continue to be funded through the end of January. But some wonder what happens after. I already worked many years. I have a lot of metal now in my body, and it isn't fair to take that away from someone who's already put in the work. The Texas Health and Human Services Department said in an email, quote, we're monitoring the shutdown and preparing for potential impacts to our programs. And so far, there are no imminent changes for people with regard to SNAP and WIC. But Borderland residents are looking for solutions. I think the best thing is to go out there and look for a job because, I mean, there's no benefits being given out. And while SNAP benefits seem to be safe for the month of January, people say they aren't hearing much from the Texas Health and Human Services if the shutdown continues. They didn't say anything if it would be reduced or still going on the same or increased. They didn't mention none of that. So that's just, they just have us there and they look out to see what's going to happen next. A Texas Health and Human Services spokesperson said in an email that it will continue to work towards the possibility of adjusting services if this shutdown continues. For now, reporting live in West El Paso, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News. Thank you.